What's up guys, good morning. Registered dietitian here at Kara Corey, and today we're gonna do a vlog for you guys, gonna take you through the day, as well as probably a full day of eating. Don't know what I'm eating yet today, but we'll figure it out. Um, right now, I'm just getting things ready to head to the gym. I've got my machine fuel and greens in my shaker cup. Um, probably gonna take a little pre-workout, and we're gonna head on out to Powerhouse for leg day. So I think we're gonna get some of that footage for you guys as well. And, oh, and Jason and I are, it's 4th of July weekend, so we were trying to like hit up the deals a bit just because we had been talking about getting a new couch or new living room furniture because we've lived in the house now for eight years. Nine years? So 2011 we moved in? So eight and a half, uh, nine years in November. <laughs> nine years in November, I think. Okay. So anyways, our couch we've had since then, I feel like it's okay, but um, between the dog, dog it's one, now okay. dog it two. It sags, it sucks. It does it's sag. Old. I'm more, like we're more talking about like the, dirt, the dander that's in there that like you probably can't get out, yeah. you know, due to the material that it is. Um, so we're trying to take a look at getting a leather couch and so we might hit up Pottery Barn, which is super pricey, but we looked at a few places yesterday and I don't know. We want to go check out Pottery Barn because we don't want to buy something that doesn't last <clears throat> us 10 plus years. It's kind of the thing with Jason and I, we get, we get a little bougie with stuff because we kind of are like, yeah, we could save a portion of the cost and get something cheaper, but sometimes with this kind of stuff it is the quality like it's like video equipment <clears throat> i've learned my lesson by in like shit video equipment you get what you pay for and like how long is it gonna last you so like if we get a piece like that from pottery barn like it's gonna be all living room set for a long ass time yeah. you know like um but we want to switch to leather just because of the dog situation the allergy situation I feel like it's easier to clean does anybody have a leather couch with a big dog yeah let us know how it holds up because I don't want to spend five mm -hmm. grand on a couch, like a sectional couch, and then have holes in it because there are 150 pound dogs on it. Right, so this is Machine Greens. This has multivitamin in it as well, so I don't take a multivitamin. I encourage you guys too, to look at your supplements. Make sure you're not like over consuming too much between what you're taking. Um, Cause I also do take hair, skin and nails, which has vitamins in it. So if I took that, this, and a multivitamin, I'd probably be taking in way more than I need. And certain vitamins, especially your fat soluble vitamins, do build up in your system and can cause toxicity, which I've had before with vitamin D. But this guy's got vitamins in it, um, your B vitamins in here, selenium, copper, manganese. But then it's also got a green balancing alkalizing blend. So there's things like wheatgrass in there, barley, kale, um, spirulina, just really good stuff for you. Um, then there's beta berries. There's things like goji, pomegranate, strawberry, cranberry, um, schizandra berry extract, milk thistle, choline, lipoic acid, all kinds of really good stuff in here. So I, this is a ritual for me. I start this with Every single morning, I start with this. Usually during my workout, but even days I don't work out, I make sure I get in one scoop of this guy. So I feel like it helps because I take it with traveling too. And there's been times that I've traveled that I've been like, yeah, no, I don't feel like packing the supplements. It's not a big deal. Don't pack them. And I just feel like it makes a difference. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I will take two scoops a day. Yeah, me too. Just to like play it safe. Um, Why don't you throw up a discount code for them? Um, make it up. I'll text Mark and make yo. Can you put a discount code for us? Oh God! What we're gonna give? We're gonna make up a discount code right now. Why do I always have to make it up? Um, I feel like discount codes when they get too long, like okay. people are like, "Fuck this." All right, we'll just do green. So discount code green. Keep it simple. Ten percent. Ten percent. Get yourself some greens. Discount code green. Back from the gym, guys. Um, like way later. We actually. Took our sweet little time, kind of intentionally, kind of not intentionally, I had to wait for the squat rack. But anyways, we did, we went to the mall, checked out some couch options at Pottery Barn. So we were gone for quite a while. Um, having a little iced coffee right now, which is just the, oh, you gave me the medium roast? Yeah. Is that all we have? 
No, I, I don't like it. I like the bottles. Mm. The, um, we'll grab these at the grocery store, just the Starbucks iced coffee and medium roast. Added to it some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And a little scooper of the espresso protein by MTS Nutrition. So good. Let me know in the comments if you guys grab that protein because I think I offered a discount on it last weekend. Was it last weekend? Or maybe two weekends ago? Maybe a couple last weekend. weekends ago. I'm trying to throw them out there to you guys. So let me know if you try anything out, if you like it. Um, yeah, I'm having a little caffeine right now. Jay cut me up a mango, and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I'm probably going to like... I think I'm gonna have chicken. It's not really breakfast. I'm just moving on to lunch because oh, it's afternoon. Oh, I bet you it tastes so good. Afternoon. I forgot about it with the new spices. Yeah. Forgot about that. Probably. I want that. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat some chicken, I'm gonna eat some mango. Maybe I'll have some brown basmati rice with that. I'm not sure yet. Today's day of eating, I'm gonna be honest. Like normally when I do full days of eating, I try to be extra like, I don't, know if I, I don't know if I try to be extra creative, but I try to be really good about making sure I show you guys like good choices, balanced options. In full transparency, I don't know what I did to my jaw when I was at my family's, like if it was from diving in the water, but I woke up the next morning and my jaw has been killing. Like it just hurts to open my mouth all the way. So, so now we all suffer. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> um so anyways like the idea like even yesterday I didn't want to eat like anything like chewy like I had like all not all liquids but I had all soft food like eggs and protein shakes um oatmeal like whatever it feels a little bit better today but honestly like crunching on things or even like a turkey burger yesterday did not sound like I'd be able to chew it so I'm just putting it out there right now this day of eating is just going to be about what I feel like I can chew intolerate at this point in time but hopefully you guys still get some good ideas from it i really enjoy doing day of eating videos because i love food i love talking about food i just naturally get a smile on my face when i talk about food so you guys seem to like these videos too and yeah what else was i gonna say oh we stopped at the mall and i'm not trying to be braggy but jason was super sweet and we walked into lululemon and and I'm not being braggy because we he does not do this all the time. Like he saw something, and he's like, that would look really cute on you. And I'd like to buy it for you because I haven't bought you something in a while. So is that okay, Jay? It's okay. Okay. So anyways, I'm I get nervous with things that are white because they're so pretty and I'm so dirty. And I like to use self-tanner and bronzer. So it makes me nervous with all the white things, but I just love white so much. And I've been trying to buy more of it just because I love it and just take better care of it, honestly. But we got this at Lululemon. That was super cute. It's very, very bright on camera. Yes. I don't know if you can tell how cute it is. If you get it too close, there's a giant light right there. So you can't get it too close. So back it up. That's good enough. So it's like a little, it's like a little crop hoodie. It's got the little tie right there, and then the sleeves are mesh. Hold on, let me turn on the camera so they can see a little bit better. Ready? Yeah. Bring it up. You guys stack. What are you doing? Now you can come up. Okay. You're holding it right. Okay. So you can see it's got the little tie string, the little mesh arms. It's got the hood on it. Should I be talking back there? They can still probably hear you. Okay. And the hood's like this really nice material. I don't know what it is. Just because. Nylon and elastane. But it just feels very like cool. And honestly, even in the summertime when it's hot, I'm almost always wearing long sleeves, even in the house, because we keep the house relatively cool. Um, so yeah, I love having pieces like this. I think it'll look cute. I grabbed these little shorts from Lululemon too. Little hot, hot toddy shorts. I don't know. They're a little booty. No, Jesus. Joke's getting old. Oh, no, it's not. It's getting old. No one wants to see my tush. I still laugh. I gotta pull my undies up now. <laughs> Off camera. But Your this tush is will never get old. the anti-aging. <laughs> Catch a breeze pullover. Made with four-way stretch, sweat wicking, light wick, swift fabric, relaxed fit, cropped length. Really cute. So 
That was very sweet of my boo. Appreciate hey, it. You're welcome. I think it's just because he wants me to buy him a couch. No. <laughs> All right. That's the updates. I'm going to figure out my lunch and I'll share it with you. All right, guys, my lunch is made. I did a nice, quick and easy lunch because we already had the chicken prepped. Slow cook that last night with some seasonings. So I have here some slow cooked chicken, a big pile of Brussels sprouts that I cooked in the air fryer, overcooked them a little bit, to be honest. I actually do prefer baking them over air frying them, but that's okay. Um, I've also got some brown basmati rice and a portion of fresh mango, and then a blobber of guacamole which I'm probably gonna eat the guacamole first and then mix the rest around together because I like my food to touch like I like it all mixed together and I feel like mango and chicken such a good combination so I've got all soft foods here so I don't have to do a lot of chewing good source of carbs fats protein caffeine got all my nutrients I should be good to go to tide me over for a little bit Oh, it's dancing time. <laughs> okay. You put spices on it? We put... Oh, I've got all kinds of spices. You're not showing fucking 15 okay. spices. Okay. <laughs> I, I literally used like 15 spices, but um, we got a big package from the Spice Beast with some awesome spices. The two I used on, actually, I'll show you the one on my chicken and the one on my Brussels. Hopefully, I didn't show you the uh, Punjab. So, on the chicken, we used the garlic in the glory. This is a salt free one. And then on my Brussels, these are two of my faves the Spice Beast beast prep and then the big buzz coffee rub something about the flavors it's like garlic garlic and onion are my favorite then the coffee one's got coffee in it so duh love it there's a sweet flavor to it though. it does it's got a sweet it's got brown sugars in it is that why mm -hmm. brown it's got sugar. brown sugars but what's the macros on it one quarter teaspoon is it still says zero carbs so it's like very minute amount of brown sugar yeah i mean i don't measure out my spices or track them and I do remember a time, I was just telling my sister this, like when I was first into clean eating and stuff, and it was like all I would use would be salt-free Mrs. Dash. Yeah. All I would use. Same for me. And it was so boring. And it's honestly for me unnecessary. Some people may need to be careful about what's in their seasonings or how much you're using of them. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm using like a sprinkle of each of these seasonings. The amount of sugar, salt, other things that are in it are, so are minute. really minute. It's really not going to make or break you. Now, if every single meal you're taking the salt shaker and dumping it on there and you're someone who's got high blood pressure or kidney disease or other things where you need to be worried about that, then totally get it. But for the average person, you do need sodium. A little sugs ain't gonna kill ya. And damn, does it make food taste it good. Does. It's you know, like you can take your chicken and spice it 9,000 different ways to make it taste good and different so you don't get bored with it. And that's just like the key to success for me personally because I do eat a lot of simple staple foods. So I need to be able to season them differently. You know what like super brings out the flavor? If you use just like tomato, basil, Mrs. Dash, it yeah. tastes good. Yeah. But then you add garlic, sea salt, or just sea salt to it. Yeah. And it super kicks the, up the flavor. Right. It makes it like sweet. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Like, so so like you I'll know. use a salt free one, but still add like a little Some salt. Sea salt to, like, or something. Bring out the flavor of like the herbs that or are. Or table in salt. It. You need your iodine. Or you could, you know, yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time to lunch and munch. I keep yelling at her. I'm like, it's 3 12. You need to drink your coffee because we don't stay up late and then it's going to be 10 o'clock at night she's like why can't i sleep i'm like because you should have your coffee at one but we three. always do sunday videos and if you notice in sunday videos like the last clip i'm always like hi guys <laughs> hi guys her uh, energy level slowly declines we're gonna uh end the video here because i'm really tired and i gotta edit it and i'm like so tired i'm like uh because so, i try to get them up for monday this is me pacing myself because they like monday videos i yes. think it's a good way to start the week it is a long Kara Monday. I video. get a lot of tags on Insta Story. People will, like screenshot, 
you know, watching the video Monday mornings with me. And I really appreciate that. So yeah. if you feel like taking a little screenshot and tagging me on Insta stories, I love that ish. And I usually repost if that means anything to you or gets your goat in one way or another. Get your goat. I'm here for get you. Get your billy goat. <laughs> Where's the dog? Oh, he's sleeping on the couch. Yeah, he's over this shit. He's like, these two are boring me. All right. Enjoy. Time to eat. Ooh. <laughs> Tight tush. Is it? Uh -huh. I'm working on it. Did some hip thrusts today. Squeeze my glutes. <laughs> I gave it a squeeze. Real tight. And then I let loose. And then I squeeze real tight. And then I let loose. <laughs> Name, name that movie. Name that movie. What's up guys? Welcome to the commentary portion of this video. I am showing you just some footage from my leg workout today. Today was um, more glute specific. And again, I'm not showing you my entire workout. I'm just showing you a few exercises uh, from the workout. But what I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about was I had just went home with my sister to visit my family for a couple days and it really got me thinking about how events like this traveling or especially going to see my family that used to be kind of a time that would stress me out in terms of my eating because i just really used to be kind of you know i always had to be on point on track didn't want to eat anything that i thought was quote unquote bad um, you know, when you have a lot of food rules in place, it really kind of sets you up to feel really anxious in any type of social situation. Um, and I was just thinking about how going home to see my family, my family's always great. They, they were supportive when I used to compete, when I'd run marathons, whatever I would do. But, you know, they always ask what kind of food we want to eat and they're, they're great about making whatever we want. So, you know, my mom always has healthy options available, which is, which is really cool. And I think a lot of people always assume when they go to see their family, like there isn't gonna be healthy options. I don't see why you can, can't can ask for healthy options to be available or, you know, you can always bring your own stuff too, but um, I didn't bring any food with me other than my outright pancakes that I ate for breakfast because I've been addicted to those. And then my mom, you know, she had like a great spread for us and I did not track my macros. I just kind of ate how I felt like I needed to. I ate till I was satisfied. I didn't worry about not knowing how to calculate macros. Um, I don't know. And it just it reminded me of what a good place I am. Even though I like 90% of the time do track macros, I've mentioned before, I can be consistently inconsistent, but in the summer times and even working with Brian, he knows that, um, it's important for me to have these moments and events or things like that in the summertime that I can go and enjoy and my entire day or trip doesn't have to be dictated by food or worrying about how I'm going to calculate macros because honestly for me personally it depending on the situation can make it more stressful and instead of just being able to eat intuitively listen to my body you get so food focused and anxious about every morsel of food going into your mouth that you then become obsessive about it. And that's more what you end up thinking about versus just spending time with your family, enjoying them, laughing, living in the moment. So it was just a really good reminder to me that I'm really grateful for where I am right now, that I can go do that. I know I don't gain 10 pounds. I don't go overboard and I'm able to just enjoy myself. So I wanted to chat about that because I, I know that can be really hard. I, I hear that with a lot of clients when they're gonna go into social situations, um, how, th how they're gonna handle it and not be so stressed by it. And really, it's gonna depend on you and your goals. Right now, you know, I'm kind of just maintaining where I'm at. You know, if I lean out a bit more, it's cool. But at the same time, I'm just at this place where it's like I'm not willing to sacrifice having any kind of social life or fun. And I used to like never really 
do that kind of stuff in the summertime. Like I'm not a big drinker. I might have a drink on occasion, but like I like that I can go see my family and sip a margarita with Babs, who's my mom, by the way, and just enjoy my family and not stress it and not worry about it. And at the end of the day, it all buffs out. Like I work really hard in the gym. My sister and I had a great time. We went for a couple runs um, two days in a row. So I feel like I'm officially a runner again. Um, but you know, you work out, you, you make it all fit like one way or another and not stress it. And, um, so I hope you guys can get to that place as well. If you're not already there, just wanted to share that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this footage and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Grabbed an afternoon snack. I've got the outright bar with me in the butterscotch peanut butter flavor. It's so good. So tasty. Macros on this are real good too. I think 10 grams of fat, 29 carb, 15 grams of protein. Um, Jason, Bruce Wayne and I are at Green Lake State Park. We're going to go for a little walk, get some sunshine, and I want it to have something to eat with me since I only had the one other meal today. So this will be a good little snack to hold me over. These are great to travel with or if you're like just going out and about for the day shopping. Always good to have on hand. They taste good as fuck too. So um, yeah, we're gonna go enjoy a little walk in the sunshine. Guys, the day is like slipping away from me. I, I'm about to eat my dinner, but Jason and I got a little distracted because when we looked at Pottery Barn today at Couches, apparently service they offer, I had no idea, is someone will actually come into your home and like look at your space and and bring over like the swatches to kind of like help show you how things would look in your house. And I was like, okay, that doesn't cost us any money. She's like, nope. So she ended up coming a little later than we had planned, but it was really, really helpful because I feel like I know what I like, but I don't always know how to get there. So she really kind of helped us like, I don't know, see the different colors in her house and like talk us through it and she was not salesy at all like she wasn't swaying us to do one thing or another or even definitely buy a couch from her so it was just really cool so just letting you guys know if you're in the market for furniture that's kind of a neat option i'm not sure if they do it at every pottery barn but that's what we've been doing so um, and then we always have to feed the dog before we feed ourselves but what I'm having tonight is nothing special. I had some 95.5 lean beef in the fridge. I cooked those up in the air fryer. And then I'm having a big serving of the cauliflower gnocchis. Um, so I'm having that with it. I don't really have any other vegetables in the house other than Brussels sprouts. And I don't want to eat those more than once in a day. So this is all we're going to have for right now. I am going to top my burger with a slice of Munster cheese. Because Munster cheese is really good and have a little ketchup with it. And so I'm gonna eat that and then probably have a little treat right afterwards. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, to end off the night, I am going to make up a vegan brownie bowl. If you've been following me for a while, you know I always enjoyed my Pervitum vegan brownie bowls, but Pervitum protein is being discontinued. So I've switched over to planta, which is plant protein. So if you are a vegan or looking for a plant-based protein, this is a good substitute and there's tons of different flavors. The one I have here is the peanut butter cup. So I'm going to make a brownie bowl up with this, which I end up making not vegan because I do add chocolate chips and whipped cream to it. But if you're vegan, you can just omit that section. But we're going to make this up and I like having this at the end of the night. Um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, if I'm just craving something sweet, this will hit the spot. Or if I'm tracking macros and just need to finish my macros up and like want something that's not gonna like, I don't know, be too time consuming. This makes up really quickly in the microwave. So um, I'm doing this with one and a half scoops of protein because that's just gonna help me hit my protein for the rest of the day. So that's the other thing that's nice is you can just kind of modify it based on what numbers you're looking to hit because a lot of times I hear from folks that they have issues hitting their numbers or they end the night with like weird numbers left over if you haven't like planned out your meals for the day which oftentimes I don't do this is an easy meal to kind of tweak to fit those numbers but I'm going to add into the one and a half scoops a tablespoon of the dark cocoa tablespoon or I should say yeah 
five grams. Don't do a full tablespoon, it's too much. It's too much. So five grams of that, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of baking powder, fourth of a teaspoon of that. And since I'm still playing around with the planta protein bowl, I'm gonna try maybe not adding as much milk as I normally do. I used to add a third cup, but I'm gonna try adding a little bit less than that. See if that makes it less milky. I'm gonna make a nighttime decaf. Nighttime decaf for you? Nighttime decaf. I'm sleepy head. being all proper I'm like wait a second this is this is vlog I can be in this video too oh wait what am I thinking I way undershot that I made this one other time and I added too much milk but I definitely need at least a third of a cup let's add that in there making it a third damn Gina we need more milk okay so I don't know, a third and a half a third. <laughs> you do the math, okay? <laughs> you do the math. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it thicker this time. But I know last time when I made it like this, if you just like eat it like that, like if you don't wanna cook it in the microwave, you can omit the baking powder and just eat it as like literally like a no-bake brownie and it's phenomenal. Yeah, hang on. I mean, you really can't taste the baking powder in it, but if you're not cooking it, there's no need to add the baking powder. But it really, look, it kind of gets like this. You see that? Like this, I don't know, this like fudgy consistency. So it's kind of already like where you need it to be, okay? Come here, take a little tasty taste. Big hair don't care. <laughs> That's really good. Really peanut butter cuppy, right? It tastes super much like a peanut butter cup. And the consistency. Why would you even cook that? I'm thinking you probably don't have to, but I'm still experimenting. Gotcha. Just to see for the folks that like to cook a brownie. But the last time I cooked it. Don't overcook it. Uh, <laughs> Cause I feel like it's gonna take it to a place where it's not as sweet. But, mmm, okay. I'm just gonna put it in for 30 seconds and see what happens. And then I personally like to make mine not vegan by going to our chocolate chip bag and adding on usually a serving of these sea salt caramel baking chips. Those are super good and then like a ridiculous portion of whipped topping, so. Yeah, I wanna see if it gets unfudged. I don't know if it will, which is fine. I'm just curious. I'm willing to try this for you guys. I'll eat as many brownie bowls as it takes to get it right for you. I'm really risky. I made the dog's dinner plate up tonight. He eats raw meat, by the way, in case you weren't sure. And now I'm, I'm handling chocolate. I handled raw meats and blood. Now I'm handling chocolate in my new white, white Lululemon. Who do I think I am? Jason, who do I think I am? I have no clue. Steaming. It's the same exact consistency. I think microwaving, it's unnecessary. I don't Unless think- you want it warm. I don't think it'll bake. Yeah, I'm not- Why? It just... I don't know. I'm not smart enough to know that answer. Either that or you just have to bake it longer. But, you can try it again. No, I don't want to. I'm gonna eat it fudgy. Sorry, guys. It has to taste somewhat different. It does. I mean, it will. It just doesn't get like 
the pervitum protein, mm -hmm. I felt like got like, the longer you cooked it, you could overcook it and it'd get real cake-like. Yeah. I don't think this will get like that. I don't mean it in a bad way. Okay, so there's... <laughs> that sounds funny. I like it. You can't see my brownie bowl anymore. It's covered by whip topping, and I might add more to it. I'm just being honest, you guys. Um, <laughs> do you need me to eat it on camera, too? I usually let it cool down, because I'm not into hot chocolate. Well, I like drinking hot chocolate, but I'm not into eating warm chocolate foods. Don't come at me, okay? I like my cookies room temperature. I, d I like the warm chocolate foods. Yeah, you see that, don't you? You like that, don't you? It looks cooked. Yeah, it definitely cooked it like... I'm just saying, for folks that are used to pervitum, it doesn't cook the same. I'm just being honest. Well, I want to know what it tastes like. Take a bite. Want a bite? Yeah, I'll bite. I think it's sweeter before you cook it. I'm cool if I don't have to cook this anymore. I like it cooked more. You like it cooked more? Mm hmm. What are the macros on that? I don't know. Well, the protein's two, two, and 20 protein. I two fat, two carbon. I just scoop and a half. I think I did. Okay. So 30. I think 30. I did two thirds cup of milk. And then nine grams of chocolate chips and whip topping. You cool. do the math. <laughs> I'm sick of doing math. <laughs> it's not in my job description. I move out of your way? No, you're good. All right, guys, so that is my vegan-ish. Ish. Can I say that? It's vegan-ish. Does that, does that offend the vegans? I don't think so. Okay. Because it could easily be vegan. You omit the chocolate chips, mm -hmm. the whipped cream, and boom, it's vegan. Mm-hmm. So that's my vegan-ish brownie bowl with the planta. You guys can check that out at tigerfitness.com. I think we gave you a greens code to shop the greens, so you're going to head on over there anyways and get yourself some greens. Check on out some planta. And anything else you want to buy. I'll stop being salesy now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's going to conclude the vlog, the full day of eating. And what else? What else do I got? New life updates. You already told them about the couch. Yeah, the couch is a big deal, you guys. You're going to have to wait and guess what color scheme we're going with. It's real exciting shit over here. <laughs> Adulting at its finest. I'm just like a body. There's no like. There's no head. I, I'm just dating a neck down. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all the good stuff down here anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what? You got anything? I don't have anything. Come on. Quit just being like a neck and a body without a head. I see some sweatpants. I know why you're so up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we are going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me something good in the comments below. Let's get our week started off good. It's July. Holy crap. How did we get here? Summer's almost done. No, it's not. <laughs> but that's what people say. Summer's almost done. We even watched Stranger Things Part 3 yet. This week we gotta hit. We that have up. some good TV to watch. Did we catch up on Big Brother? Big Brother, Stranger Things. We had watched the UFC this weekend. Let me know in the comments below if you're a UFC fan. And if you're not, I'm gonna knee it at your face. I'm a, a doll style. I'm a fly a knee. Okay, <laughs> that's all I got for real. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.